A 100-year-old <laughs> firehouse transformed into a center for peace. The Firehouse Community Arts Center is on a mission to interrupt the cycle of violence through the arts. Founder and CEO Phil Jackson joins us now with more. Phil, thanks so much for being with us. Grateful to be here. Thank you. Okay, so tell me about this organization. Like, how did how was this founded? And then it's in this old firehouse. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. So we started a hip hop church on Saturday nights. Uh. So young people came out on Saturday nights, and those same young people said. Um, this is like an 03. Hey, where can we do the arts at every day? I'm like, that's a great, great question. So we began to look for a building. I'm thinking old school stuff like Fame. You remember Fame? Yeah. Yeah. We we're going to find some warehouse. <laughs> yes. And the fire department left in 04, and then we, bought, we formed a nonprofit in 06 and bought the building in 07. So it's been that way ever since that time. Wow. Yeah. What wow. a unique area. So, what, do you, what kind of programs do you guys do? So, we do three buckets of program. Okay. One is our violent interruption work that's called VIP, where we reach young people between the ages of 17 to 30, most likely mm -hmm. to shoot someone or to get shot, in three or four main areas in North Lawndale that have been you know, plummeted with violence. And okay. that's a 10-month program with men and women who go through this program with mentors and uh, oh. outreach team, and they learn workforce development. And then the other bucket is that 11 to 24-year-old bucket. That's our spark art. That's our young people who want to dance. They want to cook. They want to uh, create art. And that's where we reach them as a preventative nature. And then the other bucket is our workforce development. We started a catering company, and so young people uh, will learn to cook in that space and get money at the same time. So, Phil, it sounds like a little bit of everything there. I mean, we have so many great organizations on the show, but and a lot of times we ask, like, tell us about your impact, you know? But you actually know about your impact right, because right. there's scientific research yes. to back it up. Yes, it is. It is. And we partner with North Park University, and they take our data, and they take it and transcribe it so it's legibly and understood. And so we've we've seen since 2021 um, a 73.7% decrease in murders in those three areas that we serve in North London because of our work. That wow. is a huge percentage. Major. Now, I would Major. assume at that point, at that percentage, you're also hearing from people in the community Definitely. that, hey, things are getting better. There, there, is a, there is a sense of an awareness that there is uh, uh, folks that they used to see on the block creating torture and crazy stuff yeah. are not doing that as much. Um, and they have a friend, like, like you know, you, ha you know the, the song you just played, right? right. You yeah. help with my friend? <laughs> There's a friend there that helps, that can help you and come alongside so you don't feel so alone. So every resident in the areas we serve have all of our outreach teams phone numbers cell phone numbers can reach out at any time if we're not on the block at that time I mean our outreach team spent like 6,900 hours last year on the block wow. preventing uh, violence in those places. incredible so you have tangible proof of the impact that you're yes. making in the neighborhood yes. and of course this is taken uh, this is taken the notice of a lot of major companies yeah. too yeah. so yeah. who are you collaborating with so we're collaborating with um, sh uh, um, Stains Family Foundation, it's a great foundation that's mm -hmm. right there in North London that's working with us. Um, uh, Steve Davis uh, from the, um, uh, the Davis Group, they, they, the Will Group, they, they're helping us hire some of our young people, um, working with Pepsi. Pepsi's coming and volunteering. The Chicago Bears have come alongside and helped that's us. Great. And so the Blackhawks, uh, the Bulls. So it's been some good movement with uh, folks who also want to join in that area and that effort to bring peace to the neighborhood. Yeah. So not only are we giving kids something to do, mm -hmm. we're preventing violence. And right. you mentioned feeding people. You you guys are feeding about 800 people a week? Yes, yeah, 800 to 1,000 people a week. Fully cooked lunches and dinners for five days. And we've been doing that since 2019. And that part is our workforce development. So yeah. at the bridge that happens where young men and women are able to learn to cook in a workforce development, now they're cooking for the neighborhood that they used to terrorize in spaces oh like that. Oh, my goodness. So, so many initiatives. and it, But it doesn't sound like you're spread too thin. It right. really sounds like you're able to really use this to funnel people from one bucket to another. Right. It's a hand-in-glove move. We have a full-blown kitchen, this commercial kitchen. Why not train people in that kitchen? Oh, why not create a business where they can carry over their catering, I mean, their, their cooking, into a catering company and get paid in the same time, right? We have great mentors. Oh, we have art. Art is a way to transform uh, lives, right, and change uh, from, from non-courage to have courage because you created something. So it's a beautiful dance that we have in the midst of all of that. You oh, know? so it's wonderful. And at a historic firehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Phil, thank you so much for being here. We Great appreciate here. it. If you yeah. guys want to learn more about the Firehouse mm -hmm. Community Arts Center, all you have to do is head to fcac.org. Also look for them on Instagram, on Facebook. All the information is there about how you can get involved. Yes. Thanks so much. Bill, yeah, you're thank awesome. You. Come back thank anytime. You guys. Thank you. <laughs>